with Swapnil and in today's video we'll be seeing what is an app engine, what is compute engine and how do we choose between app engine and a compute engine. So let's begin. What is an app engine? It's a fully managed serverless platform for developing and hosting applications at scale. So in simple words, uh, it's, it's the simplest way on a GCP to deploy and scale up your applications. And what does it mean to developer? So whenever a developer uses an app engine, he doesn't really need to care about the anything else apart from his code. So from deployments to the management, everything else will be taken care by the app, man, app engine. So what does it make app engine so special? So it supports various languages such as Go, Java, Node.js, PHP, Ruby, Python, and even .NET. So all these languages are supported by the app engine. And another major feature which is supported by the app engine is it's a, it supports the Docker containers. So as long as your co uh, application is running in Docker container, it will it will seamlessly run into the app engine. So whenever we design an application, the another important aspect to it is to store the data. So App Engine also provides an option of connecting to various Google Cloud Storage products such as Cloud SQL, Cloud Storage, and Queue. So depending on the on your use case, you can choose amongst them. So uh, so initially we discussed that App Engine is a fully managed service. That's why it is called as a uh, it's been sold as a platform as a service. So you don't have to manage anything. Uh, manage anything. So it's a fully managed. And so uh, so why does it fully uh, fully managed because it, it gives us the features such as following it has a automatic load balancing and scaling uh, so depending on on your network trafficking it will scale up your resources or scale down your resources uh, also it provides the features such as uh, uh, I mean uh, managed platform updates it, it provides the health monitoring tools it also provides an uh, provides some support to the application versioning and traffic splitting so now let's discuss a bit about the application versioning. So what is application versioning? Uh, suppose you have an application A and it is versioning, uh, it is it is running on a version 1.0 and now now you have come up with the version 2.0 which is uh, which which has more features and which is more improved version of your application. Now you want to move uh, to move from uh, version 1 to version 2. But uh, so in this scenario, App Engine plays a vital role, and it, uh, so it, it gives us an uh, it gives us an ability to uh, to create a multiple version of your application and to split your traffic between amongst them. So what you can do is you can uh, you can convert your 10% traffic to your new version of your application, and then uh, test that application version, and and see if that particular application is working as per your business case or as per your requirement or not. And once it is, uh, and and once it is all green, you can actually uh, transfer all your traffic from old version to new version. And in this way, you'll have a zero downtime. So this is the, this is a very efficient and important feature which actually uh, App Engine provides uh, with the application versioning. So now let's look at the uh, compute engine. What is a compute engine? It's just another VM. It's your VM. It's just it's just another virtual machine, and it is being sold as a infrastructure as a service. So, so how does it differ from uh, application uh, from from App Engine? So, so Compute Engine is a more it, it provides us a more flexibility. I mean, you can just spin up your uh, VM on uh, on GCP uh, with the, with the type of OS you want, with the type of hardware you want, with the type of RAM and memory you want, and uh, you can also configure the firewalls and another uh, another applications to it. So it has a so as as compared to the app engine, it gives you uh, the minute level of uh, configuration access to the uh, to the uh, to the VM. So you can play around with it. So now the question arises: How to choose between app engine versus compute engine? And the answer is yeah, like always, it depends. It depends on the use case and what are you trying to achieve with the application. So, for example, if you have an uh, if if you if you are a startup and you don't have a you don't have a big team to manage your uh, to manage your servers or to manage your environment and to manage your deployments, and you are ex uh, you are expecting a, a high volume uh, a traffic high volume traffic on your application, then you can go for the app engine where you'll only worry about your code and your application, and apart other other than that, everything will be taken care by the app engine, and other than that, when you go for the compute engine, uh, so you have an application which is a straightforward application or which doesn't really very, which doesn't really have a complex operations to it. 
and you are not expecting uh, any big volume of traffic on your application in that case you can go for the compute dungeon so in this scenario i mean you'll have a uh, you can save you, you can save money because you know uh, uh, there will be a, there will be a fixed amount of uh, vo volume of traffic on your application so you don't need to go for the app engine so yeah, so in simple words uh, so what so what is app engine's goal its goal is let developers focus on code and it takes care of everything else yes everything else and what is compute engine so in, in compute engine actually uh, apart from the code the developers have to do and configure uh, everything else like networking deployments etc etc will be taken care by the developers only so that is the that is the basic difference between compute engine and app engine i uh, and to uh, to end this presentation i'll give you i'll give you a very interesting fact uh, app engine first was introduced in 2008 and first it was rolled out for only 10000 developers and but then it was such a hit that in in a month's time it then again rolled out for uh, another 70000 uh, uh, developers and and 80000s were in line were, were in queue for it and after that they have actually uh, uh, made it available for everyone so yeah thank you so much Thank you.